First News is following several key races today. Two of those races are the Republican and Democratic races for the U.S. House of Representatives' sixth district seat. That seat was vacated by Bill Johnson earlier this year. And with these races, you'll be seeing double today. Fox News, First News on Fox reporter Hannah Erdman is live in Columbiana to explain. Good morning, Hannah. Josh, good morning. As you mentioned, with Bill Johnson vacating his seat, it does add a little bit of a unique feature to the race now for those candidates that are looking to take that seat. Now they're, you're going to be seeing it twice on the ballot, and that's because for both the Republican and Democrat race, you're going to see the race for someone who will fill the remainder of Johnson's term that is unexpired, which will last through the remainder of the year. The other will be for the full term, which would start next January. The winners from each party in the unexpired term race will face one another in the June special election. In November, the two winners of the full term race would face off then. Two Democrats and three Republicans are vying for nominations for those seats. For the Democrats, the candidates are Ryland Finzer of Bedford Heights and Michael Kripchak of Youngstown. The three Republicans are State Senator Michael Rooley, East Palestine Councilman Dr. Rick Chai, and Reggie Solfus of Minerva. And as a reminder, polls now open here in Ohio. They'll close this evening at 730. Also, you will need to bring a valid form of photo ID with you as you're headed out to the polls as well. Reporting live in Columbiana, Hannah Ardman, First News on Fox. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.